Okay. All right, guys, so the grip is talked about a lot in golf, and for good reason, you know? We need, this is our connection to the club, but how you go about it, you know, a lot of you will perhaps either be too strong with the left and kind of have this kind of aggressive, aggressive sort of approach to it. That's good. I'm not going to go into loads of detail because we're going to cover that in others, but I just want to give you some fundamental, like basic, let's start here, all right? I want you to re realize, I'm not going to focus too much on where your hands are. The only thing I want you to really think about is holding this like you would a hammer or if, as if you're pulling a rifle or something like that. We've got this sort of trigger here, but you know, holding the hammer, you wouldn't really grip it. You wouldn't hammer with these two uh, fingers. You wouldn't hammer like that. The, the real weight, the real control comes from the lower three. That's where we're feeling it because that's the control. And as in, we're in a golf swing with the right hand, okay, the reason why those, the thumb and the forefinger are often detrimental is because, you know, you've heard of casting, you know casting. A lot of that comes from one hitting at the ball, but the other is basically these two fingers encouraging a swing path that's that way, like casting a fishing rod because it's the thumb and the forefinger applying the pressure. It's sort of pushing that way and you're trying to push here when really we want to have more of a pulling sensation. And that pulling sensation will come from these three fingers on the left hand, but also having the pressure in the two middle fingers primarily. So you can even practice swing without the thumb and forefinger on the golf club, okay? So we can have this pressure here with these two middle ones and the lower three. Just by doing that alone, and then just hiding the thumb, whether you've got interlocking, baseball, or um, uh, overlap, whatever you prefer, all right? But this is good. what's gonna give you the control is the pressure, these three and these two. Get those sort of neat and tidy. And we don't want too much, we don't wanna be squeezing it, we don't wanna be throttling it, but we do want firmness, all right? We do want firmness. Because from here is what's gonna give us the whip, the control. The, the belief that we can just swing through with a bit of confidence, all right? So do that. Just try some swings where you've got that feeling, that sensation, and you'll see just how much better you have control-wise. And we're gonna go into other videos on the grip as well, but just start with that. Notice the pressure. Out of 10, I want you to feel about a seven or something in those fingers, the three and the two here. And see, if you, even if you want to do some practice swings without the thumb and forefinger on to feel that pulling sensation, you're going to do well. All right? So if you have any questions, let me know. Hi, I'm Alex Forte, and I want to introduce you to the Art of Simple Golf Club. This was born out of the overcomplication that plagues the golf industry, that kills your golf game. So what we have done is recreate a real golf club that you play wherever you are in the world online. So we have the clubhouse, we have the 19th hole, we have the putting green, the short game area, the driving range, the lesson tee, and we have the golf course where it matters the most to really help you play your ideal golf game every time you tee it up. We have new courses added every single month to help you go from A to B all the way through to Z. These series are designed to help you play your very best golf without overloading you with information, with just one or two bite-sized tips that you can go and apply right now. I will see you on the other side.